And that's why I like this, because it really does talk about, it, get, it talks about so many core things in this workbook lesson, other than just these words. We're, we're, we're digging down deep inside of us in just these few sentences. God knows my holiness. My Father knows my holiness. We go back to the lesson. It says, shall I deny his knowledge? Shall I say, oh no, I'm not holy when he says I am and believe in what his knowledge makes impossible? Shall I decide I am not what he says I am? That's how arrogant it is when we say, oh, I'm unworthy. Oh, I'm unloved. You know, we're saying that what the, the, the source of the universe does not know how bad I am. I've hidden it from him so well. Really? You know, honestly, he says you are holy. And so is everyone who walks this world with you. He says that light and joy and peace abide in you. And so does it in everybody who walks this world with you. Do you think he could be wrong? The source of all knowledge? I don't think so. And that's what this is saying. It says, shall I accept as true what he proclaims as false? So shall I say I am not, I am not worthy when he says I am? He's wrong. I'm right. Oh, that's pretty arrogant. Or shall I take his word for what I am since he is my creator and the one who knows the true creation of his son? He knows who I am. That's never changed. It says, Father, I, I love this, this little, we should take, if you want to, take that little Xerox this thing or take a Xerox with you and put that up. Say that prayer. Put that up and look at it every morning. This is the truth. Father, I was mistaken in myself because I failed to realize the source from which I came, where I came. It's like we're the ugly duckling, you know? We're trying to be a duck when we're really a beautiful swan. I've always thought that was such a great fairy tale for the awareness of who we are. You know, we're trying to act like the duck out there, this unworthy person, when our reality is the worth of the beautiful swan. And when we know that, then we are comfortable in our skin right now when we try to live as a duck, when we try to live as an illusion about ourselves, when we try to live as the mistake that we've made ourselves into in, instead of the holy child of God that we are, we're uncomfortable. It just doesn't work. That's the story of the ugly duckling. He never could fit in. His neck was too long. I don't know about his feet. Something about him, right? There's lots of things in the story that I can't remember now. But, but he just never fit in with everybody else, right? And then he finds out that's because he's trying to be an orange when he's really an apple, you know, a duck when he's really a swan. But when he knows who he is, when he realizes he is a swan and he sees everybody else that's just like him, what happens? Then the neck is not too long. Then everything about him fits so perfectly with the other swans. Same thing for us. We are trying to be an image of ourselves that is not the truth. And we've built up a lot of resistance to this. And a lot of knowledge, I'll put that in quotes, our knowledge, but it's not the truth. No matter how much we try to be what we are not, it can never be. And that's great. That's our salvation. We will awaken to the truth of who we are. We are this loving, joyous, peace-filled being. And the sooner we get in line with that, the better life goes for us. The more peaceful life is. And the more uh, at home we are. Then we can start worrying, I mean, stop worrying about the wars in the world in all these areas, because we become the bringer of peace. That's what Jesus was. He knew without a doubt who he was. He knew who, without a doubt who his father was. Now, you don't even have to believe in A Course in Miracles to believe that, right? We know that, right? Isn't that the message even in the Bible? He knew who he was. He knew he was the son of God. That's even been said God-man, right? He knew that reality about himself. He was comfortable in his own skin. We need to get that comfortable in our own skin. And the way to do that, th this is such a wonderful path to do it, when you just say, the things I think about myself are a mistake, I fail to realize who created me. Who created me? Love created me. Not a mistake. Love created me. That's where I came from. I have not left that reality and entered into a body only to die. My holiness from my creator remains a part of me as I am part of you, Father. And my mistakes about myself, they are simply dreams. They are not my reality. I let them go today and stand ready to receive, Father, your word alone for what I really am. 